when people demand better living conditions the response of the state is to kill those people we fighting against that when the students demand free education they get locked up by the regime we fighting against that we fighting for equality in our country we do not want to replace white supremacy with black supremacy we want to create a society where all of us exist as human beings and not as white and black we want to restore the dignity of the african continent and position africa as an equal partner in the world economy and international politics we don't want europe to treat africa like it is its own subject africa's time is now no one should continue with the exploitation of our minerals without our involvement not even china will be allowed to recolonize africa we are called economic freedom fighters because we want any foreign direct investment to come and invest in africa through our own terms and to the benefits of the people of africa it might be a dream some might think it's not real but we know we are going to achieve it for because this dream is not just a dream but a generational mission It's a generational mission we are not prepared to sell out. We want to restore the dignity of African people. We want to ensure that African people are equal partners in trade, in politics, in every subject that the world is debating. People cannot eat a cross. People want to put bread on the table we cannot claim to be africans yet we have nothing to show as a proof that indeed we are africans for because we do not even have title deeds to prove that we are the owners of the land when you go into mines it's multinational companies when you go into banks it's multinational companies when you go into monopoly industries it's multinational companies We cannot even own and protect our own agricultural sector with our fertile land in Africa. When we say those things, we are called communist. We are called anarchist. We are called radicals. Because we must continue to bow before a white supremacy. We refusing that. We refusing to bow before imperialism and colonialism we want a total control of our own country and our own land